How to build a personal portfolio website from scratch. Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're looking to showcase your skills, work, or personal brand online, then today's video is for you. We're going to guide you through the step-by-step -step process of building your very own personal portfolio website from scratch. Why is this important? Well, in today's digital world, having a personal portfolio website is a must. It's your online business card, a place to display your work, share your story, and build credibility in your field. Whether you're a designer, developer, writer, or any other professional, this website will help you stand out. In this video, we'll cover everything from planning and designing to building and launching your website. Let's dive in! Before you start coding or picking templates, it's important to plan out your website. First, think about your audience. Who will visit your site? Is it potential employers, clients, or collaborators? Understanding your audience will help shape the design and content of your website. Next, set clear goals. Do you want your website to land you a job, showcase your projects, or simply have an online presence? Once you have your goals set, decide on the platform you want to use. You have a few options here. Website builders like Wix or Squarespace. Great for beginners with little technical know-how. WordPress, more flexible and customizable, but requires a bit of learning. If you're comfortable with coding, you can use HTML or CSS, the most hands-on approach. Take a moment to decide which platform suits your needs best. Once you've got your plan, it's time to move to the next step, designing your website. Two, now that you've planned your site, let's focus on design. This is where the fun begins. First, keep in mind some basic design principles. Layout. Choose a layout that is clean and easy to navigate. A common structure includes a home page, an about page, a portfolio or projects page, and a contact page. Color scheme. Stick to two, three main colors. Choose colors that complement each other and match the vibe of your brand or work. Use tools like Adobe Color to help you pick the right palette. Typography. Pick readable fonts. Use one or two fonts and make sure they are legible on both desktop and mobile devices. For your logo, you don't have to hire a designer. You can use free tools like Canva to create a simple, professional-looking logo that reflects your personal brand. When it comes to images, use high-quality visuals. You can find free, professional photos on sites like Unsplash or Pexels. A good image speaks volumes, so make sure it's clear and relevant to your brand. 3. Now that we've planned and designed, let's start building. Step 1. Get a domain and hosting. You'll need to purchase a domain name, e.g. yourname.com and choose a hosting provider, e.g. Bluehost, SiteGround. Your domain name is your unique online address, so pick something short, memorable, and relevant to your brand. Step two, install your platform. If you're using a website builder like Wix, this step is already done for you. But if you're using WordPress, you'll need to install it on your hosting account. Many hosting providers offer one-click WordPress installation. Step three, create your main pages. Home. This is your landing page, where you introduce yourself and highlight your skills or portfolio. About, a brief section about you, your background, and what you do. This is where you build a connection with your visitors. Projects portfolio, show off your best work. Include images, descriptions, and any case studies. If you're a developer, showcase your projects with links to GitHub. Contact, make it easy for visitors to reach you. Add a contact form or your email and social media links. If you want, you can also add a blog or news section to share updates, thoughts, or showcase your expertise. This can help with SEO and engaging your audience. 4. With your website up and running, it's time to optimize it. Step 1. SEO. Search Engine Optimization. Make sure your website is discoverable on Google. This includes adding relevant keywords to your page titles, descriptions, and alt text for images. Use a tool like Yoast SEO if you're using WordPress to make the process easier. Step 2. Mobile responsiveness. With over half of web traffic coming from mobile devices, your site must look good on smartphones and tablets. Make sure the design is responsive, meaning it automatically adjusts to different screen sizes. Step 3. Speed optimization. A slow website can drive visitors away. Compress your images, use a content delivery network, CDN, and keep your code clean to make sure your site loads fast. Step 4. Analytics. Install Google Analytics to track visitors and see how people are interacting with your website. This data will help you improve your site over time. 5. Before you hit that publish button, let's go over a quick checklist. Double check that all your links work. 
Ensure all your content is spelled correctly and formatted properly. Test your website on multiple devices to make sure it's mobile friendly. Make sure your contact form works and you're receiving submissions. Once everything looks good, it's time to launch. Share your website on social media, send it to your friends and even add it to your email signature. Don't forget, after launch, collect feedback. Ask your visitors what they like and what could be improved. Websites are living things, so keep updating them to keep them fresh and relevant. To wrap it up, building a personal portfolio website is a fantastic way to showcase your work and enhance your professional brand. We've covered the entire process, from planning your site, designing it, and building the pages, to optimizing and launching it. Now it's your turn. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Start building your website today and get yourself online. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe for more content. Good luck with your website and I'll see you in the next video.